Okay, everyone, uh, this time I'm going to show you how you can add a QR code, how you can put it on the home screen of your iPhone. Now, there are some options which you have available. Technically, you can create a wallpaper, which you can set as your home screen wallpaper on an empty page like this one, and it's already going to contain uh, the QR code, but uh, this is not very practical, of course. The way I would recommend you to do it is to open up the App Store and download some kind of widget app which allows you to create custom widgets. I like the widget smith, for example, which is free to download, but you may be required to type in some kind of, or like get a subscription, but for free, you can use it very easily. So just go ahead and download the app. And now once the app or since um, the app is downloading, I'm gonna head over to Safari and get some kind of QR code, which I'm gonna save to my gallery. So. If I just go to the images, I'm just gonna look up some QR code, whatever it's gonna be. So let's say the first one right here, I'm gonna hold down on it and I'm gonna save it to my photos. So this is exactly what I wanted to achieve. Now, as the app is already supposed to be installed, so you can see it is, I can open it up and decide where exactly I'm gonna set up the widget. So in this example, I'm using WidgetSmith. You have options of small, medium and large widgets. So Let's say that there is a small widget which I'm gonna customize. So I'm gonna click on the small one, click on that, and choose a photo. So I'm gonna choose photo from the photos. I'm gonna create or put this QR code and hit save. Now, since it doesn't have the background, it you cannot even see it because it's like black and white. So I'm gonna download like a different one with the white background. So let me just, yeah, this one has a white background, so let me just choose that one instead. So go to the photos and choose a different one. So this one is gonna be white. Now it is actually visible, so I'm gonna hit save and leave the app. All I have to do is just to add the widget to the home screen. So I can just hold down anywhere like this, click on the plus icon in the upper left corner, scroll down through all of the suggestions until I get to all of the apps so you can see right here here's the list of all apps i'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom to get to the widget smith and i'm gonna add a small widget and it's the home screen hit done and it is just a small widget so it gives me more instructions to do so right now i have to hold down on it click on add widget or edit widget in fact and choose which one i want to use so in this case i only have one which is the qr code so i'm gonna select the small number one leave it that way and now you have a QR code which is always going to be part of your home screen so now you can put whatever you want in here and it doesn't matter if it's your personal QR code or something that you need to do for work you can put it like this to your home screen and it's going to be simply there all the time you can even have it larger for like half of the screen because you can notice that inside of the widget smith app there is a possibility to create a large widget so you can even create a large QR code which is going to take up the entire home screen page or like the majority of it. So let me just show it to you right now. If I choose the large and add it to the home screen like this. So I'm gonna scroll down again to the bottom, click on widget Smith, but not choose the small one instead of the medium or large. In our case, we just choose the large, add to the home screen, hit it done, hold down on it, edit the widget, choose large one leave it and now I have a huge QR code showing up on my home screen. So I can have it like this or this, doesn't matter because it can be as I want. So this is exactly how you can add QR code to the home screen as a widget or as a picture, it doesn't matter. Before you leave, I need to show you this. Down below in the description, there is the Foxtech educational platform, the link to that, which you can join for free and there you can watch video editing courses, in-depth iPhone guides for like App Store, how you can set up your iPhone properly and more content is being planned on. So by the time you're watching this, chances are that it's much more stuff in there already. So go ahead and join right now. It is free to do so. And I will see you inside. For now, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later in the future.